All right. So today we'll be talking about how to reshape data using R instead of Excel. Although Excel is a very fine tool to do any kind of thing, but in this one R kind of wins. So let's get to it. So we have our POS data. POS means point of sale. This is a sample data. I just made it. Uh, this is not from any client or, you know. So we have the manufacturer, the brand of that manufacturer. So we have like brand one and brand two from A. And then we have the classes, the classes of each brand. So is it premium? Is it regular? Is it economy? You know, cheap or expensive. And then we have the SKU codes, the identifier codes. And this here is a convenient key which you can make using concatenate or the ampersand like this. It'll be used to, you know, make the data more compact. We can remove these fields and, you know, expand this key later on. So, and in POS data, we have weeks or dates, which can depend on the source of the data. So the one I have used here is weekly data. So if you can see, there's a difference of seven days. There would be a difference of seven days between each unique date. Then we have our metrics or variables, uh, which are present for each of the SKUs in the data. So we have volume sales, we have value sales, we have ECV distribution. If you have any doubt about what these variables are, you can Google them or you know, write to me later. So this is the POS data. However, this is not a very convenient format. We would like our data in a different format, which would be more usable, such as an SKU in one row. And then we would have weekly metrics like volume, then distribution, then value or something like that. So it should look kind of something like this. Sorry about the hiss. <laughs> so yeah, so we have every SKU with its distribution, then we have its value sales, then we have its volume sales. So in Excel, we can do this by first modding our data, which is basically modifying. So what we have done is we have taken this data and then separated these columns out and put them in stacks. So these are the volume sales these are the value sales these are, this is the distribution and these variables the key variable is the same and then we create a pivot table using this data and we put the measure and then the key in the rows versus week ending in the column and then we include some of value and values so i guess we have pretty familiar with pivot tables in Excel if you're if you're not so that would be it now would be a good time to learn about them so not not in this video <laughs> but yeah and then we can copy this data and convert it into this now this process in Excel takes some amount of time more than you would like to spend so this can also be done in R in a much shorter time frame. So I'll just show you how to do that. Since we have a ready-made formula in R called read.csv, it would be best. It's a good idea to convert our Excel data into a CSV, a comma separated value file, and then use it and then reshape it. So this is the POS file. This is the CSV file created from this POS data. So let's have a look. As you can see, I've removed all the individual variables and just kept the key variable. This is easier for data manipulation. And uh, this, the d rest of the data is entirely the same. A file can be saved as a CSV file by just opening it and selecting whatever the data we want, copying it, pasting it into a new file and then saving it as a CSV file which can be done like this yes so we're done with that
let's just close this after creating the csv we will move to r i guess everybody watching this video would know what r is even if you don't it's a very good tool so the function which we will be using to transform our csv data into the kind of data that was in the excel would be the recast function actually it used to be two functions before melt and cast so they were the two functions but the recent update to the package has introduced a new function called recast function which combines the role of those two functions into one i hope you're getting me so we'll first install the package i've already installed the package but that is the command to do so and then we'll move to loading the package by this command so we have the package loaded and then we'll read the csv file so this is the location of the csv file which we had created and then we have set the header to true because it has a header there there we go and this then we would like to apply some exploratory techniques so we can see all the variables are there so we have two factor variables which is one key and one weakening and then we have integer variables it is very important to keep the measure variables the metrics as integer variables because they might be adding up the, in case there are two volume sales records with the same sku so we'll need to add them up and then we can even edit the data suppose we want to make a little change here or there so we can do that using this command and then we come to the recast function so this is the page of the recast function and as you can see this conveniently me uh, wraps melt and casting function into just one so the arguments of the recast function are data data this would be our input data frame and uh, the formula which i'll come to later the id variables would be the variables which will be used as the identifier variables as in in our case these are the key and the weak ending and the measure variables would be the remaining three variables the volume sales the value sales and the distribution the formula would be how do we want the data to come out as like in the pivot table we choose rows and columns what would be rows and columns this is expressed as this in this example as we can see so this is our input data this is row versus column separated by a tilde so time would be in the row so all the timestamps would come in a row like this and all the variable would all the variables would come in columns and the id variables would be col from column 1 to column 4 of this data these things will become a little more clear so this is the recast formula let's save it into the pos.new as you can see this is our input data which would be this and then our id variables would be one to two if you see here so the id variable would be one colon two which means one and one from one to two and in our case the variables are key and weak ending so these are the id variables the remaining three are automatically assumed as measure variable we can also explicitly mention that here but there's no need for that and the structure of the output data which we want should be variable plus key tilde weak ending variable and key would come in the rows and uh, then weak ending would come in the columns variable is the automatic name that r gives to the measure variables so variable would be volume sales volume sales and then followed by value sales then followed by acv distribution and in a separate column row wise would be our key as we saw in the data in the excel the weeks would be on top as columns and this table would contain the values after running this we can see how the output data is just like i said so we have volume sales we have value sales we have acv distribution for each of the keys and then we have all the dates so these are not arranged in a chronological order right now but we can do that later so pretty fast right and then we can write this data frame into a csv file and export it 
by using the write.csv function. So the first argument would be our data frame, and the second argument would be the path. So this is the name of the file coming after the rest of the path. And then if we run this, and if we, so it has already run, then we can go check our file, which is this. So we have our output data just like we had in Excel, but much faster and much more convenient. So pretty neat, right? So this would be the end of the video. Leave any of your questions in the comments or I'll provide my email ID in the description and you can write to me. Thank you. Bye-bye.